I just wanted to say that um, the performing arts saved my life. Of course, a lot of people know my story, but for those who don't, and it, it really is it, all in my autobiography, which is titled Little Black Bastard. Uh, I was taken away from my family, and as were my four brothers and sisters, we were all split up. And uh, my sister and I were given to a man who had a farm, and uh, he raped us both for five years. Well, when he went to jail eventually, and we came back to live with our mother, who was still an alcoholic. So I grew up on the streets of Melbourne. I'd never been to school. I, in fact, I was a street kid and petty criminal. And I was in jail by the age of 17 in Pentridge. Well, when I came out of jail, some very kind people in Melbourne helped me turn my life around. Uh, I started having singing lessons at the Melbourne Conservatorium with Joan Arnold. I studied ballet with Madame Borovansky. And I made my professional debut in a musical for J.C. Williamson's in 1954. Well, in 1959, 1960, I went to England where I wasn't easy, but I kept working and I made my acting debut in 1961 in a play with Stella Adler and my singing debut in the West End in a musical called On the Level. And eventually I became one of the top directors and choreographers in uh, Europe. One of the great joys in my life is when I was asked by Functional if they could give this award in my name, I was really pleased because it's not just about an emerging artist, it's about an emerging person as well. And uh, although I had an email this morning from London uh, because I sent the YouTube link and the person said, oh, who is that girl with a great voice? So that's Chrissy, of course. And so one of the great joys in my life is being able to give back to the community something that I've learned. And uh, as long as I can keep doing that, I'll be more than happy.